The AccuEdit app is a great tool for creating design layouts using designs from your machine or that you've saved in your iPad. This allows you to compose designs wherever you are for stitching later. The first time you open the app, a tutorial is shown. You can rerun the tutorial at any time by tapping the Info button and then Tour. To prepare for a new project, tap the Settings button. Select the hoop you want to use. You can also change the background color as well as turn off the grid or center lines. Tap Done when you're finished. The first time the app is used, it must be connected to your sewing machine. Tap the machine locator icon. This doesn't always work the first time. If your machine is not found, tap the magnifying glass icon to search again. Once your machine is located, tap on it to select it. Then tap the Done button. Editing operations are controlled with the edit control. You move the control by dragging its handle. Access the editing tools by tapping the toolbox to open it. Tap again to close it. Hide the edit control by tapping its icon on the toolbar. Select designs by using the Add Design button on the toolbar. When you tap it, you can choose from three design sources. Documents, which contains designs you have previously saved to the iPad. Designs, which is the built-in designs on the 15,000. And Sewing Machine, which allows you to access designs saved in the machine or connected to the USB drive. Tap the Designs button, the World of Embroidery, and Design 23. A preview window of the design will be shown. Tap Done. Move the design to the right side of the hoop. Tap the toolbox to open the Edit Control Tools. Tap the Size Change icon. Tap the arrow at the bottom of the Edit Control to reduce the size to 95%. Tap the Rotate Control. Move the button in the center of the edit control to rotate the design to the right to 15 degrees. Use the right arrow as needed to fine-tune the rotation. Tap the color change icon. Select layer 4. Move the circle on the bar to select the brightness of the color you want. Then move the square over the color grid to select the color you want. There's no option to select by actual color number, so you have to just get the best match you can by trial and error. If you want to use the same color again in another layer, make note of the R, G, and B numbers. Select layer number 5 and use the controls to get the same R, G, and B numbers. This is an inexact process and may take a little time. You can enter a thread number and color name by typing the boxes in the bottom left corner. Tap the Done button. Tap the magnifying glass to change the zoom level. Move the zoom control all the way to the left for 100%. Drag the edit control outside of the hoop stitching area. Tap the copy and paste icon. Then the button in the center of the edit control. Drag the duplicate design to the left side of the hoop. Then tap the vertical flip icon and the button in the edit control to flip it over. Tap the insert design button, then world of embroidery and design number 22. Tap done on the preview window. 
The design is placed in the center of the hoop. Increase the size to 110%. Tap the Insert Design button, then Border Designs and Design Number 13. Drag the design away from the center and resize it to 90%. Then drag the design to the bottom edge of the hoop and move it left so its border lies on the blue center line. Tap the Copy and Paste tool, then the Center button in the Edit Control. Use the Rotate tool to rotate the copy to 270 degrees. Then move the design to the right edge of the hoop so the top border lies on the blue center line. Use the Horizontal Mirror tool to flip it horizontally. Use the cornering tool to duplicate the vertical part of the border in the other three corners of the hoop. Repeat with the horizontal border piece. Select the monogram tool. Make sure the size is set to medium. Enter the words any day spent. If corrections are needed, touch and hold close to the point of error. Move the cursor to the error point and delete or insert letters as needed. Touch the Done button and move the letters to the top of the screen. In the same way, use the monogram tool to enter the letters for the words Is a good day. Touch the Done button and move the letters to the bottom of the design. Use the monogram tool one more time to enter the word sewing. Move it above the flowers under any day spent. Tap the words any day spent to select them. Use the arc tool to arc the letters down. Move the letters so they fit within the space. By using the Move tool, you can move the letters left or right one-tenth of a millimeter at a time. When the X value is zero, the letters are centered. Use the Arc tool on the words Is a Good Day to arc them upward. This makes the letters too close together. Use the Spacing tool to spread them apart. Adjust the letters so they're centered. Use the Move tool to adjust the positions of the flowers. A Y value of 0 will put them on the center line. The left and right flowers can be spaced by using the same X value, positive to the right flower and negative for the left. The center flower should have 0 for both X and Y. You will find that the center button on the move control is difficult to use and it's much easier to use your finger to get a rough position and then the arrows for fine tuning. Tap the settings button. Enter a name for the design. We chose any day. Tap the Done button to assign the name to this design. Note that you do not have to have a name for your design. But if you do not name it, the design will be saved as untitled with a number. Tap the Export button, then Save. This will save the complete design in the Documents section of the app. 
Tap the Export button again and Send to send the design to the machine. It will appear on the Ready to Sew screen. Tap the Create New button to erase the current design and start a new one. Tap the Create New button again and Receive Design. This will copy the design on the Ready to Sew screen into your iPad. If you get a communication error during the process, you may need to use the Select Sewing Machine button again to reconnect the machine. Once that's done, try to receive the design again. You may wish to make adjustments to your design layout. The zoom control makes this easier and it's best to turn off the edit control for better visibility. Use two fingers to drag the hoop so you can see the part you want to work with. Be careful doing this as you can very easily accidentally move something that you didn't want to move. Use the Undo button to fix that. Version 2 of the AccuEdit app brings three important new features. The first of those is additional fonts. When you tap the monogram button, you'll see the familiar Gothic font. This is unchanged from version 1. Tapping the font button presents a list of 10 fonts to pick from. After choosing a font, tap the space above the keyboard to enter your letters. Note that once you've tapped the Done button, the letters become an embroidery design that cannot be changed. If you want to change the font or letters, you'll need to delete the design and create it again. You may wish to save samples of all the fonts on your iPad for future reference, as we have done here. Another new feature is the ability to use photos from the photo app as the background in AccuEdit. This is done in the background color setting. There you can choose a single color from the built-in color choices, take a photo from the iPad camera, or choose an image stored in the Photos app. If you choose an image, you can tap the Change Range button to choose the part of the design that will appear in the hoop. Tap Done when you finish. The last added feature is perhaps the most important. Genome lists it as an import function, but that isn't quite how it works. AccuEdit version 2 will open designs that have been sent to it from other apps or email. To illustrate this, we'll create a small layout. Set the zoom level so the entire hoop is visible. Use two fingers to drag the hoop to the left side of the screen. Move the edit control out of the way. Double tap the home button to activate the app switcher. Open the Dropbox app. Select a folder containing the designs and pick the first design. Because Dropbox does not know how to handle Jeff files, you won't see a preview of the design. Instead, you must rely on the file name. Tap the Share button, then the Open In button, and choose AccuEdit. The design will be copied to AccuEdit and placed in the center of the hoop. 
move it into position, and repeat for other designs. You can also import designs from email messages. Tap on the enclosure containing the design. Select AccuEdit from the pop-up list. The design will appear in the center of the AccuEdit hoop. Using these new features will make it easier than ever to create and edit design layouts on your iPad.